mistakes. Number four, biggest mis top five mistakes is all about repetitive routines or, okay, and or, but mostly or, muscle confusion. So think about it for a second, folks. If you've been doing the same damn routine, like honestly, what's the definition of insanity? You've heard it many times, right? Dr. Einstein, Albert Einstein, the definition of insanity is doing the same things over and over and over and expecting a different result. So many of you over 40, when it comes to your workouts, let's just look at workouts. I don't care what the makeup of the workout is. It's the actual method. You might probably be looking at, because uh, I see it in gyms, um, is that people are doing the same routine. Because again, it's what they know. It's just what you're comfortable or what you worked in the, it worked for you in the past and you really haven't kind of got caught up in the new age of training and so you just continue to do it. So bicep curls, isolating exercises, tricep extensions, right? Dips, right? Uh, form wrist curls, right? To really hit those forms. Like when in fact, if you're trying to lose a lot of weight or body fat, do you think working your forms is gonna be your best use of your time and energy? <laughs> Probably not, right? So I see people definitely doing routines. Listen, I'm at the gym. So not only uh, we see a lot of my clients are in their home, but I'm at the gym anywhere between say four to five days a week. And I see the people over 40, because again, it's just my demographic. So I just have the eyes on them. And I see people coming in and always doing the same circuit. Sometimes it's just machines. Maybe it's like, you know, a couple of bicep curls, a couple of tricep extensions, obviously throwing the bench press for the guys. The women, they come in, they do the, you know, the old thigh master, right? They come in, they do like a leg press. Uh, they might do a squat and then they do, you know, a couple of the machines, but it's not only the very fact that, hey, they're getting to the gym, like bravo for that, but it's like repetitive over and over and over. Then they're on their phones, just waiting and resting. And then they get on the cardio machine and walk for 50, 60 minutes or whatnot. And I see their bodies are not changing. So if you're doing the same routine for the past, let's just say even year, Let's even go as frequent as for the past year, but certainly two years, three years, four years, even if you're so-called intermittent with your workouts, the very fact when you get back to them, are you doing basically the same sort of thing? Because maybe that's all you know. Well, I tell you right now that you're not going to see much progress that way. And especially if you're throwing in like body weight exercises, you haven't really progressed with resistance bands, dumbbells, kettlebells. Even if you're at the gym, you haven't really seen the weight going up. And that's the thing, folks. That's my question to you right now. Have you seen your strength increase? So if you have no weights, think about maybe how many push-ups or squats you can do. Has that increased over the last two weeks or even one month? Certainly over the damn year. If it hasn't, there's a red flag. Or if you're at the gym and you're doing the machines, how much from that pin, you know, where you basically take the pin and you increase your weight, how much movement has you, or how much weight have you increased over the last one month? two months, three months, four months. Is it just subtle? Well, then again, a red flag and a, certainly a big indicator that you're not getting stronger, which means naturally that your muscles are not also kind of adapting to that new strength and you're not seeing uh, developments within your muscle. So that's a key thing right there, folks, is the repetitiveness. Now on the other end of the coin, okay, is muscle confusion. Now, where did we hear this from, right? We heard this from P90X seven, eight, nine, ten 10 years ago, right? The whole thing about doing a different workout every single time and it confuses the muscle. So the muscle cannot adapt. And so you're going to get amazing results because the muscle doesn't know what it's doing. You're always shocking and awe on the muscle when that's a bunch of BS. We know it. It's a bunch of BS. Now, can you do obviously muscle uh, confusion type workouts, beach body, you know, certain, you know, uh, uh, orange theory, certain ones, P um, uh, F45 and see tremendous results. You certainly can. Absolutely. You certainly can. However, what happens, just like kind of what I tell people with recipes, the whole rabbit hole of recipes is that if you're constantly changing your workouts up, okay, you can get some fitness. You can get fit, like cardiovascular fit, but damn it, if your goal is to really look at enhancing your muscular um, mass, so lowering your fat mass and increasing your lean muscle tissue, so for you women, defining, toning, lengthening, firming, for you guys, you know, definitely muscle building, right? Getting really pecked, decked, ripped, whatever. You're not going to get true strength and true muscle by muscle confusion. And I will say that again. You will not get true strength, true muscle building, 
and being able to keep the weight off by doing muscle confusion workouts, constantly different ones, different ones, different ones, because the muscle has no time to adapt. And I say this for an exact example. I have many clients, not just a few, that have done those circuit training. So every time they go to a, a, a studio, there's always a different workout. Now, granted from an interest standpoint, it's kind of cool that you get a fresh new workout each time. I get that, folks. I absolutely get that. However, how many people have come to me saying, I've been doing these classes, okay, online boot camps, whatever it is, and I'm just not getting strong. Like I'm not seeing much difference with my muscle mass. I'm losing some weight, but my body fat's not going down. Well, you know what? Once again, red flag, right? Red flag, okay? So yes, throw those hit workouts in, throw in a different circuit here and there, but you do not need a different workout every single time because what will happen though is you will get, oh shit, I need a new workout because you don't know the fundamentals. Listen, folks, this is not rocket science that if you can really master squats, deadlifts, lunges, push-ups, bent over rows or chin-ups, pull-downs, even if they're assisted with like bands, okay, even if you can barely do them, I'm talking on your knees with your push-ups, band assistive chin-ups, you know, uh, simple lip squats first, and then maybe go to double leg, uh, single leg squats, single leg deadlifts. If you can get those six to seven fundamental movements, because there's that many variations of each, but you got to get the fundamental movements down. If you can't do that, then there's no point just trying to do something advanced just for the sake of doing it. Because one, you're probably going to hurt yourself. And two, it has absolutely no bearing. Like you're doing it just for because you think that sweat equals calories, which equals your best body of your life. And that absolutely is not true. And I want to say that again, folks. Okay, hey, Georgina. That sweat does not mean that it's the best workout ever, which then means that you're going to be absolutely in tip-top shape as you go literally week by week. You have to throw in, as I said last night, some hit and obviously even some like basic cardio stuff just from a recovery standpoint. But remember, folks, you're also not 30 anymore. You're also not 20 anymore. So when you see people saying, I want CrossFit, I want to do CrossFit because everybody's doing it <laughs> or it's like, you know, crazy people getting in mad shape when the very fact if you can't do a squat, why the fuck should you be doing some sort of like barbell clean, dumbbell clean and press as fast as you can for time when you have zero clue what a clean or press even is, right? Makes absolutely no sense. Now, I'm not ratting on these folks because I have personal friends that teach classes, own businesses, and they do their thing. What I'm just trying to tell you is that, again, understanding just what the research, what stats, and certainly even personal experiences with me have had where clients have gone to those things and I were it was too advanced, which got them injured, or they just couldn't sustain it because they felt like, man, this is advanced stuff, which turns them off and then they're not, they can't keep up with it. Or when they're on their own, when it's finally like, I'd like to just create a work about myself, but they've done so many different ones. They're like, I, I, I don't know what to do. Where I'm like, just learn the basics. And if you want a good fit body, okay, that's balanced, that you only really can work, need to work during the work week so that you can actually enjoy the weekend, then you don't need the crazy shit over and over and over. So that's muscle confusion, okay? So the big thing I want to say there is your body evolves because you're 40, 45, 50 now if you're watching this, or most of you are. So you're not 20, 25, 30, okay? So what happens then is if your body is evolving and either life has evolved, because listen, I had a chat with a person today and they were saying, Ryan, I'm 44, I'm 44, 45, he was, and seems like I can't get away with what I used to be able to. And I'm like, okay, okay, let's don't just say that as a blanket statement. Let's actually compare apples to apples. You're 44. So let's look back when you were 30, okay, maybe. Did you have one? Let's just look at your body's changed, even as a guy, but certainly women, if you've had many kids, naturally your body has changed dramatically. Okay, but the reality is, is his body is now 10, 15 years older than where he was, what he's comparing himself to. But also, he has kids. He has obviously a more executive position, meaning he has much more stress in his life. We are now in COVID, right? You have different, your, your eating is definitely not the same. He's drinking more wine or whatever booze, more than what he was back in the, in the day there. Now, could he have gotten away with maybe some shit that he was eating and drinking then? Yeah, because you're younger. You've got good hormones going for you. Now it's not. So this whole concept that, ah, man, this is not fair. Like, I can't do what I'm doing. Well, one, you're probably not. You're probably stressed more, way eating more, and you're not moving more. 
So just fix those three things and you wouldn't need someone like me, be honest with you, okay? That'll get you so far. But if obviously you really need some structure and accountability or just, damn it, where do I need to go with things? Well, then that's when you need to level up and call a coach because guaranteed you're not gonna be able to do it by yourself. You just can't. Like you, you, I won't say you can't, sorry. You just, it's a lot of work to kind of go through the masses when you know you can just say, hey, take the guesswork out for a second, Ryan. Like I don't wanna think, I don't wanna overthink. I wanna make sure what I'm doing is safe for me and what my nutrition is for me because I have a goal. So get me there. That's what people want, right? When you think about it. So your body and life has certainly changed. So why would you be doing the same workout over and 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 over for those that are watching this that have pretty much been doing the same kind of like routine that you do when it comes to a workout or the very fact that you're doing the, na the next big thing. So shiny ball syndrome, right? Oh, I want the new program. It's like same thing with diet. Oh my God, paleo came out or low carb or keto, right? So let's go with that. Or oh, CrossFit, like everyone's loving CrossFit. It's an awesome community. Boom, let's do that, right? Or let's do some sort of crazy, you know, whatever boot camp stuff. Like, let's do that. Or, oh my God, this detox is supposed to be crazy because you get to have literally whatever you want and all you have to do is sip this one tea and your life, whatever, your life is going to drastically change. Like, it's funny, right? But we all want the newest thing, the newest hip thing. What happens is your body is completely confused. So instead of muscle confusion, it's hormone confusion. And I want to stress that to you women and men that are over 40, listening to this, okay? It's not muscle confusion by basically doing program to program, diet to diet. It's hormone and body and mental confusion, okay? I want to say this. Muscle confusion equals results illusion. Muscle confusion equals results illusion. Meaning you're thinking that because it's a new thing and you've heard maybe one person, maximum three or four, that have done amazing results with it, that it must be true and legit and it's the new thing that everyone has to be doing. Listen, folks, when some people come to me, like, I'm not putting the same program on the same person because they've got so much baggage coming into me. Why would I just be, here, here you go, same program that the last 10 people have. And should I, as a coach, expect the same results from everybody? Heck no. So why, once again, you want easy. You want easy <laughs> And when I say easy, I mean pra as practical and as manageable as possible. You want a proven system that you're not trying to get the wool over your eyes because how many ads that you see going through Facebook even before you sat across this video have you probably found? Black Friday this, Black Friday that, Black Friday that. Which stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm going to whip out a crazy Black Friday deal. <laughs> um, but I'm just saying is that I get this from people that I talk to day in, day out. Not just clients. People that we may talk to and we're not, they're not the right fit, but they're telling me their struggles. So you got to think over pretty much way over a thousand calls, probably 2000 people that I've spoke with, even in the last, I'll say probably seven, eight years, right? Either they became a client or they didn't. I get this data where I'm like, what's your goal, right? Where do you want to go? What's your current situation? And what's your struggle? What's your biggest roadblock? So of course I'm going to get everything. What their goal is, where the age are, what their current situation is, but what their biggest roadblock and everybody says, I'm a yo-yo dieter. I can't seem to stick to anything. I lose everything and then I gain it all back. I try all this new program. I can't stick to a program more than three weeks, right? I want this, I want that. So, it's, so if that's the very well case, then as I said from the beginning, the definition of insanity, are you just gonna just hit into 21 and 2021 and just go, yeah, yeah I'm gonna stick to kind of what I know because it's comfortable, cool. And I really hope that 2021 is the body of my life, right? It's just not gonna happen, folks. You know it. You absolutely know it, okay? Last thing I'll just say with that is injuries too because I know for some of you, you either have injuries, major injuries, right? Back, ch uh, shoulder, knee, hip, okay? That's a wheelhouse of mine because I'm a certified kinesiologist. I have just much rehab experience as I do personal training experience just as an FYI. But the reality is, folks, is I'd say about 98% of people that come to me have a fat loss goal, but they, when I kind of, kind of get a little bit more asking questions, I say, do you have a joint problem or are you in pain or really stiff? And they're like, well, yeah, like I do. I can't really do much movement or exercise. It really hurts my wrists, my back. And I sit at a desk all day. And yet I want to go and do the next crazy class. My friend told me to come to boot camp, And then they wonder why they do it. And then they're out for two weeks. Because again, the boot, a class is going to get a group of people 
right? It's not individualized to you, right? So if you have injuries, the very fact of doing the same thing over and over and over is either leading or causing or prolonging or um, um, exacerbating your injuries. Or when you jump from program to program and do muscle confusion, how in the heck do you think you can actually rehabilitate or get a muscle or joint stronger if every single week and day you're doing something different? You're trying to hit the, from a different angle when you really can't even, you know what I mean, put your hand over your head, but yet you're trying to do um, handstand push-ups, right? Doesn't make any sense. So again, folks, this is absolutely what I hear. And this is why I really thought that putting this five-part series together is just as much as information as I can get out that I've heard over the years and years and years that I think, can you kind of curb it? And then obviously, if I can find a solution for you, or at least give you some suggestions to pivot and go another way versus the common way, okay? Hey, Katie, how are you? All right, so as I said, I think the theme here is, you know, if you, r repetitive routines, muscle confusion equals results illusion. You think it's gonna lead you to the golden path, but by doing either or, same workouts over and over, or changing things up way too frequently and hopping, uh, program hopping from time to time, you're never gonna reach the golden, the golden gate, if you will. You're never gonna reach that end result, okay? You need structure, right? You need proper structure, you need a manageable routine with an actual practical level of accountability, and you need a swift kick in the butt from time to time to really hone in your nutrition and your workouts. That, okay, is gonna set you up on a better path, not just for 90 days, six months, a year, folks, right? You're wanting to be your best, both fit-wise, but also healthy looking and feeling, you want to be fit in your 50s, in your 60s, in your 70s. Am I right in saying that? Drop it below. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. You know you are. Okay. All right. So that's number four. Crazy. These are flying by.